Tens of millions of Americans are packing their bags right now this week to travel for the holiday. AAA expects 50.9 million travelers to hit the roads, the rails, and sky for Thanksgiving journeys of at least 50 miles, and it's the most since 2005. Air travel, they say, will see the biggest increase of 5%. About 4 million people are expected to fly this holiday season, this holiday weekend. The busy travel week comes after CBS News learned security screeners missed prohibited items at at least 70% of the time at airport checkpoints during undercover, undercover testing. The new TSA administrator, David Pekoski, is with us now from Washington to discuss as we get ready to hit the roads. Hello, David. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Good morning. Thank you for the, op for the opportunity to be with you this morning. Well, here's a question I wonder. How is it that they can get my contact lens solution, but they can't get the weapons and really prohibited scary items? What can you say to reassure us that things are going to be better when we travel this weekend? Just the other day, my contact lens solution was confiscated, David, and I had to throw it out. Well, what we do is, is whenever we have a covert test like the uh, inspector general conducted, and we do our own testing as well, mm -hmm. uh, we use that to test our system and to see where there are vulnerabilities. Uh, and what we're doing uh, right now, and we've been doing over the past uh, several weeks, in fact, uh, into the summer, is uh, additional training for our transportation security officer workforce, who I think uh, does an excellent job overall, uh, looking at changing our procedures, which travelers will see uh, over the course of this holiday season, um, and also investigating new technologies that we can put in place uh, in the checkpoint. Uh, I, I would say to you that uh, I travel often. Mm -hmm. uh, I think air travel is, is safe and secure. Um, and, and I think it's actually safer and secure today after the IG uh, results than it was beforehand. So what specific things is the TSA doing to improve? What we're doing to improve is, first off, we're, we're uh, uh, focusing further on training our workforce. Uh, it's a very important part uh, of our overall security posture. Uh, I personally have participated in some of the training uh, for our transportation security officers, and it's excellent. Uh, and, and we basically explain to them the why uh, of what they're doing based on the intelligence information, the threat information that we have. Uh, additionally, we've changed some procedures. Um, right now, if, when, you, when you go to the airport, uh, at most airports, uh, you'll have to take out of your carry-on bags uh, any electronic device that's bigger than a cell phone uh, mm -hmm. and put that into a bin and what that does that procedure allows um, our x-ray examiners to have a clear image when your mm -hmm. carry-on bag goes through the x-ray machine. Mm -hmm. uh, additionally we have uh, new lanes in many airports uh, thanks to uh, the airports and the airlines partnership with us uh, and these new lanes uh, uh, allow five people at the same time to put their carry-on bags uh, into bins which should eventually speed up the process um, and also provide some security enhancements for us mm -hmm. on the security side of those lanes. And so uh, with those things okay. in particular, I think you'll see uh, an immediate improvement uh, mm -hmm. in security. Uh, additionally, we're focused very hard um, and uh, I have accelerated significantly uh, our investigation of new technology in the checkpoints. You know, Al-Qaeda has recently called on attacks on trains in this country. What security precautions do you have in place for that? Because right now it appears that anybody can just get on a train carrying anything. I, I, we work very closely with, with, the, uh, with the rail industry. In fact, uh, I was just up in New York uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, went to uh, the uh, New York Transit System and also uh, on Amtrak and New Jersey Transit. Uh, we provide guidelines as TSA. We don't actually provide the security, unlike uh, at the airports where TSA provide security, but we provide guidelines to uh, surface transportation uh, owners and operators, and we work very closely with them um, to uh, share intelligence mm -hmm. information uh, and also to share uh, best practices back and forth between us. Uh, you'll mm -hmm. see uh, as you travel on, on surface transportation systems over this weekend an increased presence of, of law enforcement, of canine teams, um, mm -hmm. and that's part of the enhanced security posture in those systems. Well, David Pokoski, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks to all the TSA workers. I, I find them to be very professional. Yeah, I agree with what he's saying. For the yeah. most part, they do a very good job. Are you traveling, David? Are you going to test out your own system? On uh, I, I just returned from travel. Oh, I'm not okay. traveling. Uh, my family is traveling to me, but thanks for the comments on the TSO workforce. I, I do yeah. think they do an outstanding yes. job, and it's a difficult job to do. Yes, you're absolutely right about that. Yeah. We're going to be traveling, right? Yep. We're going to be doing our planes, trains, and automobiles as well.